How to install and use the Pattern Builder Kit for Affinity Designer 2 Section 1. Install Templates After downloading your zip file, go to the Download section on your iPad. There you will find the latest upload. Click on it. It will guide you to the Download section in your files. There you will find the zip file. Double click on it. It will open and you will have a folder containing the templates and a PDF with the instructions. Open Affinity Designer, click on templates and locate your file. Then select one of the templates inside the folder. Affinity Designer will open automatically this template. I recommend that you open all the templates and create a folder containing everything because it's easier for you to see the shapes that are inside each template. Uh, it's better than having name only. I recommend that you select one of the template inside the folder, swipe to the left and select duplicate, then select the copy and in the burger menu, select uh, out of the project. Like this, you will have a project with all the templates and a copy of the template that you want to work on for a design or a pattern. Section two, how to use the templates. What the basic template is composed of a basic symbol. Here, you will find the basic symbol alone. Then I made a copies of the symbol to populate the rest of the canvas. As you can see here, I have each of the symbols alone and group to create the exterior. So to start designing, I usually sketch in Procreate and upload my sketch here. I have my sketch on the image folder and I place it here and adjust it to the side of the canvas. As you can see, the photo is outside the symbol. What you need to do is select the image and slide it inside the symbol. Affinity is a bit tricky. So what I usually do, I select the guide and lower the opacity and the photo also lower the opacity. Then I lock both of the sketch and the guide. And to start drawing, I'm using now a vector based design. That's the purpose of Affinity. It's a vector base. It's easier than Procreate. So what I need to do is create a new vector layer and make sure that this layer is inside the symbol. You need to see that the, the layer that you created have the orange inside the feather uh, symbol. If you don't put it inside, it only populate one of the symbol or the place that you put it inside. So for me, I'm gonna go to my swatches. I'm gonna go to the pencil and I'm gonna select this of the outline and I'm making sure that I'm on the layer and I'm gonna make the auto close for the shapes that I'm creating. As you can see, I have the shape here, but the fill is white. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete it and make sure that the fill is the same as the color. And making sure that I'm on the layer that I created and I start drawing.
if you want to have an outline what you can do is remove the auto close and here you can have only the outline I recommend that you select all the elements with the same color. So I'm selecting the first layer and with two fingers selecting the last one. And it will select everything. Then I go to and group them together. So what I have is one layer with the same color work on. So I'm going to create a new vector layer. Now Affinity will automatically create a new layer inside your symbol and start drawing my rabbit. Here I'm finding difficulty seeing the rabbit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sketch and put it on top like this it will be easier for me to draw then i continue with my design you can see I have the rabbit on one layer, create a new layer for a third color. Now, if you want to see your design, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide the sketch and hide the shape that we were working on. And to make the pattern more interesting, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to select the symbol, then I'm going to flip it horizontally, do the same for this one it horizontally the rabbit won't be repeated in the same way after you finish what you can do is go to the burger menu and export and here you can export any uh, format that you want I'm going to export it in JPEG and see the size of the canvas. I'm going to share it and save image. I go to Procreate, create a canvas the same size as the Affinity file, then add a photo and I'm going to duplicate it four times, make each copy half the size of the canvas then i'm gonna zoom and everything seems to work fine so my pattern is repeating correctly for the symmetry symbols I'm going to work on the uh, circle uh, star shape and this shape is symmetry and you can see it's composed of four sections, one, two, three, four. And on the sides is a copy of the shape. So you can see how to populate your design and this one 
you, you need only to work on one of the sections. And I'm going to create a simple uh, blender. So I made this sketch. I'm going to place the sketch. And put it here. As you can see, you can see it outside because it needs to be inside the symbol. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna city and lower the opacity of the guide and lock both of them. And I'm gonna create a new layer, a vector layer, because that's the purpose of affinity is to create vector design and place it inside the symbol. And I'm gonna use the pen tool and the swatches. I'm gonna select pink and make the outline three. Make sure I'm on the layer. So I'm creating a really basic shapes. So I'm going to select everything inside this layer by selecting the first layer and with two fingers select everything. I'm going to make the point and I'm going to change the color to white and create a new layer as background. And here I have a simple blender. So I'm gonna hide the photo or the sketch and the guide as you can see here i have a nice simple blender i'm gonna try the composite template i'm going to the project file and i'm selecting one of the composite then i'm gonna swipe to the left Duplicate, then take the copy and move it out of the project. Now I go to find the composite outside. The composite is made of uh, five sections, the center design or the center symbol and four different symbols uh, around the center one. And I created repetition of each one. So I have 
the four sides and in, I have the center symbols inside the canvas. What I usually do is I create element in the center. So I'm going to place the sketch that I created for this part. And select the sketch and put it inside. And here I'm going to show the sides. The center one is all these sections. So I'm going to make the sketch inside and I'm going to lower the opacity and I'm going to do the same for the shape. And I'm going to remove the word inside so I can see the section is in the center. Now, what I usually do is I create elements in the one, two, three, four, that is totally different from the center one. It will make my, uh, my design more complex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the sketch that I created for this section. And this one, I'm going to keep it outside because these, uh, I combine them together, but I don't need them to repeat in everything. It will be like a mess. And I'm going to lower the opacity and lock this layer. Now I'm going to start coloring. While I'm working, you will see what I mean by, by dividing each section. So I'm going to start with the center. I'm going to create a new vector layer. And make sure this vector layer is inside the main symbol. Then I'm going to go to my swatches. And I'm going to select the blue. And I'm going to start coloring. As you can see, here is the center design and it's repeated in the four sections. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the tree trunk for the four sections, top section, the one. And I'm going to add a new vector layer. I'm going to remove the letter one. And I'm going to start sketching. As you can see, I'm working on the this one and is populated on the this section and this section. So I'm going to continue with the section 2. I'm going to hide the 2 and keep it. Then I'm going to add a new vector layer and put it inside the symbol. Now I'm going to work on the cat and the cat is in the bottom right with the uh, number four. So I'm going to create a new vector layer and place this layer inside the symbol and I'm going to continue on drawing.
I keep working on each symbol to create the variety uh, for the uh, for this pattern. Now that I drawn everything, I'm gonna keep on tweaking the design. So I'm gonna hide the sketches and the sides here, as you can see. I'm gonna hide the shape in each symbol. As you can see, here's my final pattern. Please note that I'm not teaching Affinity Designer in this video. It's only a demonstration on how to use the templates uh, for the Pattern Builder Kit. Thank you.